morning. It's a shitter of a day down here. Like, that's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I'm moaning. When it's too sunny, I'm moaning. And when it's raining, I'm moaning. So, there must be a happy medium somewhere, but today is not it. So, yeah. So, I need to fix this hair day before we start. The, um, it's well shit down here today. Very wet. <laughs> you are going to need some uh, resistance bands, a long one and a short one. I'll just get this right out of the way in my usual sumo style bun. Long one, a short one. Fabulous. Um, and yeah, we are just going to smash glutes. So people often say to me, I want a big bum, right? Everybody wants a big bum. Uh, obviously we want the bum to be comprised of more muscle than fat. Uh, the glutes can take a lot of volume. So, I'll, the majority of the people that I know that have got really good glutes, train them five times a week. Um, whether that's just, they actually specifically train them in their training, and then they'll maybe throw a circuit in the other days, just to make sure they stay stimulated. Um, and yeah, so they can they can take it. So we really need to go for it when we train glutes. But the main thing that goes wrong for most people is they don't manage to keep them engaged throughout every exercise they're doing because they're, they're like I've said, they're big, but they're also lazy muscles. So often hamstrings or quads will start to kick in and take over. That's why all through this, I am going to say squeeze your bum, squash your ass. Um, squeeze, feel it burn, right? You need to keep your mind connected to your ass. Yeah, that's about the gist of it. Just keep thinking about your butt. Eyes on the prize, right? Let's, uh, let's just warm up. We'll just do a bit of mobility and a few stretches. What we do at the beginning here, I want you to do at the end as well. I'm not going to stay with you to stretch, right? But if you don't stretch your glutes after we do shit like this, you're going to end up with lower back problems, right? Because if you think about it, they're here, you're squashing them up majorly, these tighten, which means this starts to tighten, hip flexors, the locked. Do these stretches at the end, or you'll regret it in time, right? I can only advise, I can't force you, but I would advise. So, coming up, just put the hands on the waist, big circles. Right, the point in this is just to get some mobility into your hips, maybe a wee stretch in the hamstrings, mm -hmm. a wee stretch at the hip flexors as you push forward. Other way. Good. And feet together. This is for ankle mobility. So keep your feet on the floor. Don't let them roll all over the place. Other way. Good. Coming up. Ankle one way. And the other way. Other way. And other way. <laughs> oh, my ankle doesn't like going that way. It's so weird. Right, feet, um, shoulder width apart. We're just going to roll down, right? As far as you can go, plenty of ease will go much further than this. And just let your head hang. Take a hold of your elbows. And just small, very small bounces. And keep breathing. Good, keep going. Nice. Okay, take your hands onto one leg at the ankle. Okay, and we're going to bend that leg. Keep the other leg straight. And then we're going to straighten that leg and bend the other leg. Good, coming up. Second side, hands on the ankle. First of all, bend that leg, keep the other leg straight. Head down, drop your head. And coming up. Bend the other leg and keep the one you're holding straight. And coming right up. Coming to the floor. We're going to put 
foot under your knee, tuck your hips and let the knee come forward. We should feel that stretch in the back leg through the hip that flexor through the quad. You need to tuck your pelvis under, otherwise you're not going to feel that much. And second side. After this, we're only going to do one more stretch. Tuck your pelvis and come forwards. That you have to do at the end, right, without me. Good. Sit on your bum. We are going to give one leg a nice cuddle, right? Just squeeze it right in, back nice and straight. Give it a wee rock for side to side. And put it down. We're going to take it over. Put one hand at the back. Keep yourself upright. Take it over. We're going to take this hand and place it in front. And push. So that we're getting a stretch through the back and through the glute. And coming back. Second side. Bring this foot up, give it a wee hug to start, keep a nice straight back, We wiggle from side to side, I feel that in the hip joint. And same thing as last time, we're going to take it over, we're going to put the hand at the back, help keep yourself upright with this hand so don't lean back into it, remember we're thinking chest up towards the knee, this hand goes across and we push and twist. Good. Shake your legs if you shake and we'll get started. So, we are starting with the short band. Short band, short band. Yeah, I've written all these out already. Just trying to find it. Yep, that's this week's. Right. We're going to go for crab walks. Okay. More like crab steps because I don't want us taking too many steps. It actually gets too much for people and their knees just collapse in so it's pointless. So I'd rather we just did step, 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 right? Then fucking basically run about the room like a maniac. Um, then we're going to go for full squats with the band on as well. No, oh, it's just flipped to something else. Right, <laughs> sorry. I'll just, I'll just demo that, be fucking easier. Um, I've got two glute sessions on either page there and I just started reading for the other one. So the first move, Band sits just above the knees, right? The, the focus is on flossing the knees out at all times. And we're taking a step, step, step. So my knees are never coming in like this, even when I step in, right? Then we're going for an angled step. So we're here and the band remains where it is. And we're taking a step to here and back in. Small move, right? But by the time we've done the crab walk, that should be pretty sore on your glute meat because they're both abductions. Then we're going for a seated abductor. So you're going to need something to sit on. I'm going to sit on the edge of the bed. And what we're going for here is we're doing three different movements. So the end of the bed, couch, stool, puffy. So we're here, I'm going to first, first sit. I'm going to go feet apart. Back nice and straight, and we're just going to abduct here. Then we're going to lean forwards and abduct, and then we're going to lean back and abduct. Right, so that'll be the first round. Let me squeeze you back into this space and we'll get started. Right, okay. Let me just make sure we are on the right. Yep. Okay. Right, so get your band on, your short band. Get it just above the knee. We don't want it any higher than that. Grab a drink. Then we'll get your squat position and get it started. Here we go. One. Two, fast, keep forcing the knees out, keep breathing, force the knees out, halfway, come on, keep feeling this up here, squeeze, Ah, oh, 
45 degrees, bend back. Other side. Back. <laughs> Other side. Oh, cramp in the butt cheeks. Lovely. We're going to go again, exact same thing for that, the 45 degree, small bend in the knees. Here we go. Oh. Other side. Oh, holy hell. Good, get your bum a sugar. We're going to go straight into the abductions. So get on the edge of the bed. Quick, quick, quick. Right. Get your feet shoulder width apart so there's already tension on your band. Oh, I hate this. Sit up straight. Here we go. Abduct. Small movement. Roll onto the outside of your feet. Keep breathing. Keep a nice straight back. And relax for a second. Just bring your knees in. Just let them fold in. That will feel good. Oh, if you let them fold in, your knees fold in and lean forward. You just get a nice wee stretch before we get into the next round. Right, coming back up, right? Get tension on the band. Lean forwards, but keep a straight back. So lift and lean forwards. Here we go. Push. Five to go. Oh, relax. Oh. Oh. I'm going to do the same. Leaning back. So again, don't collapse in like this. Keep a nice straight back. You should feel it in a different, slightly different part of the glute each time. Right, get in position. Feet shoulder width apart. Tension on the band already. Lean back. Here we go. Small move. Big pain. <laughs> ah. And relax. Oh, uh, sit, sit on the floor. We're going to, we're going to do a buff massage. It's absolutely non-sexual, of course, but it's going to feel good. So, <laughs> just sit on the floor and literally roll your bum. Just roll it on the floor. How nice is this after doing that? So, the reason that gets really nippy and painful is because we're working one of the smaller glute muscles. We're working the glute med and probably the glute min, um, which that's why it gets that kind of uh, horrible bummy feeling. But just remember what I've said: the um, the glute can the glute can take it, right? So there is a chance you'll do all this and you'll feel pain, like muscular pain, that horrible kind of good pain while we're doing it and then the morning you won't feel it and that's perfectly normal for glutes so um doo -doo -doo. where's my book right now we're going to get a duck foot deadlift straight leg with the band kickbacks with the long band and laying an adductor so i've done this one before um with the duck feet actually so duck feet pointing out Remember, we're keeping a neutral spine and hinging for the hips, okay? So we're not curling up the back at any point. 
again, it's a small movement. Right, you're in your band with your duck feet, so heels together, toes apart. Get that neutral spine. Hinge at the hips. Okay, you can keep straight legs if that feels better for you. Pull. It's not a big movement. I'm not coming all the way through. Right, so I'm literally here. Squeeze. You might be a bit lower, you might be here. Squeeze, squeeze your butt cheeks together, squeeze your hamstrings, force your knees together, and then that's the lever. That's what's pulling you up, right? I'm gonna go for them. Then we're going to go for kickbacks for the band. Band goes on one foot, goes across the opposite wrist. You come down to all fours, and this is a small movement, right? It's actually not about how high your leg goes. It is literally, the leg is here, and squeezing the bum is what brings it up. But we're going to come right in to give the glute a full stretch and right out. What I wouldn't want is for you to be going like this and really arching your back to get your leg higher. Try and think again, neutral spine. and it, So we're not doing that, right? We're actually just moving the butt cheek. And that's what I said earlier. Keep your ass in mind. That's all that's doing the work. That's all that you want to do the work. Then we're going to go for laying adductor, right? So this bit, this bit that people say, oh, what did, what did they used to call that? It wasn't, a th it wasn't just a thigh gap, but there's, there's a different name in it. Uh, don't get me wrong, I've never had one because I've always, I've always had um, well-developed adductors. But the majority of the time, a lot of the times this would be fat in here. It's a muscle, right? So, you can also, you can fake a thigh gap in a photo. If a thigh gap is something you want, all you do is put your feet together and turn your knees in. Look, there, I've got a space, right? A lot of things are illusions. So, if you want a thigh gap, you don't want to build up these muscles, really. But, I would recommend, okay? So, nice strong legs, right? We're going to lie on the floor, put this foot across, and we're going to lift this leg, just like that. It's not lifting particularly high, okay, but it is lifting off the floor, see about a foot, and I can feel it on my inner thigh. Pretty a weird position, but it does the job. Tom's downstairs having his breakfast. Right, let's, uh, oh wait, I've, oh no, yeah, that's perfect. Let's get stuck into that, that's round two. Grab a quick drink, even if you don't need one, it's good to uh, stay hydrated. A lot of people don't drink enough water to support weight loss. Water is magic. It doesn't need to be plain water, you can put squash in it. Squash, that's what English people call it. Scottish people just call it diluting juice. And uh, Irish people call it mixy up juice. So whatever you call it, you can put that in it. I would recommend drinking between three and four litre of water daily. Whether you think you need that amount or no, it helps your body function, helps digestion, sleep, everything. Right, and it's free in the majority of cases you can get it out the tap. So no excuses. Right, get into your duck foot position. Get on your bands. I would recommend that the band is right under your arch because if it's on your toes, this is really awkward. So get in. Heels together. Toes apart. Get a nice neutral spine. Squeeze your bum, your knees, your quads together. Here we go. Squeeze that bum all the way through this. Keep breathing. Remember, just think of the bum. It's the bum that you want to be the prime mover. Fucking hell, man. Nearly fell. It's that song because it's put me off because it says she's dirty. Shh. Halfway! We should be starting to feel the pinch now. You are squeezing everything together. Oh. It's 
so it's cat. Yep. On there. I mean, I swear enough with it, it need to be in the actual song as well. Uh, it is a, a, quite some time since I've called somebody a dirty fucking coke here. But, you know. Right. Okay. Uh, this is actually... Yeah. This is actually a bit longer than I, than I thought, but I want, to, I want to hit something and I'll tell you what it is at the end. So, we are going to go for a banded sumo squat in this round. Get the band up feet nice and wide. When you're in the low position, the band won't really be doing it, but it will provide us with a line of tension when we push up. And I do want you to squeeze the butt cheek. I do want you to give me that tea bag arse and I want you to push through. Then we're going to go for our glute bridge, regular, right? But this time, because we've done the squats, your glutes should be a bit like, fucking hell, what's this lassie all about? Um, nice big squeeze, you're holding a two pence piece, you don't want to drop it. Squeeze, 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 right, glute bridge, normally, the way we usually do it. Then, we're going to do glute bridge, glute bridge, feet together. So, you won't be able to thrust up quite as high, but it'll be harder, because we're asked should be in tatters by then. And, um, and you need to squeeze your ankles and your knees. 
and your thighs together, right, to make that work. So, that's the three exercises, then we've got a quick finisher round after that, and we'll be done for the day. Well, I say that, I don't, don't count this as my training, so I'm going to get in train after this, but... But um, this is just like a wee supplement. Right, get your long band. Let's go in. Let, let me just check the music here. So that, it, so that it's not a complete clusterfuck like it was a minute ago. Right. Feet in. Go wide. I like to scoop this up. Just to here. Wide, wide, wide. Right, here we go. Tea bag ass. Push right through. Thrust at me. Here we go. Sorry, that's a bit too much badge. Flying at ease for my lightning, I'm going to go side on. You get the idea. <laughs> nice and slow and controlled. Control it in the way down. On your butt. Ten to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch the band. Down for the glute bridge. Just regular, but keep the buttocks tight. Quite like saying buttocks. Sounds sounds like they're meaty. Right. Rotate the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Hands at the side. Here we go. Up, squeeze down. Breathe out. So you've got a Malteser. Push through the heels. Keep control on the way down, so don't just let your ass slam down, right? Keep control at all times. Big squeezing, big, big, big squeezing. Keep going. Hold that to the pen's piece in your butt cheeks. Ten go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax for a second. And then we're going to get into the adapted version, which will be feet together, right? Squeeze your knees together. Tilt your pelvis under. This is horrible, this one. At all times, try and keep your knees together. That's the hard part. So we're now holding a two pence piece in between our butt cheeks and in between our knees. Let, in fact, let's call it some 100 pound note. That's that's more lucrative, right, than, than two pence pieces. So, use it or lose it. Pelvis tucks under, up we go. Hold that money. Push through the heels. Keep squeezing your legs together. It won't be as big a thrust, that is okay. 
As long as you're feeling it in the bum, you need to activate it down here, bring it to push up. Squeeze your adductors, squeeze your quads, squeeze everything. Oh, bummy bummy. Squeeze the knees together. Don't let them come apart. Come on. Ten. Five. And relax. Oh. I don't like that move. I don't like it, but it's effective. I don't like it because it feels painful. <laughs> right, last round. Okay, last round dead easy. Um, we're going to go for frog pumps, right? Feet together, knees apart, try and let your hips relax. And again, we're moving for the glute. It's a very small movement. Um, and then we're going for clam thrusts to finish. So, frog pumps, swirl it around, Clam thrust, just do everything, just body weight here. And then that'll be us. And you guys are going to stretch, like I showed you at the beginning, or you're going to fucking regret it later when your back goes. Um, and that'll be us done. So, by the time we've done that, we'll have done 555 reps. That's a pretty good achievement for a Tuesday morning. Okay? Let's smash this out and call it a day. So, get in position for your frog pumps, feet together, let your knees relax, okay, again when we're lying down, we're going to get my lower back on the floor, okay, relax your head, right, it's not about your abs, it's about your butt, and hands to the side, here we go, you should not feel this in your ankles, if you're feeling pressure in your ankles, you're not using your arms, right? You're just pushing up, using your ankles. So really squeeze the bum. That's what's moving me. My bum, it's not my legs. I'm not pushing up through my feet. And I don't feel it yet. That's why we do high reps. It's going to take a while for your bum to feel this. Good, keep going. Very small movement, 20 go. Five to go. 
Good. And relax. So, that is us. Challenge done. Um, I'll leave you guys to get on with your day. Throw this up on my YouTube in case you want to do this one again. Um, as I've said before, all these moves are valid. If you're on a training plan that's not got a lot of glute movements in it and you want a big bum, um, like I say, maybe add this on as a circuit at the end of one of your upper body days. Uh, I think a lot of these movements are underestimated. Of course, the bigger movers like squat, hip thrust, um, they're the sort of lunges, right? They're going to really help your bum grow, but these will also assist that. So everything's got its place. And I will see you guys here on Thursday for, what are we doing? I think we're doing upper body, back and shoulders. Speak to you then.